This is Jeanette from Happy Spots and Ink Spots. In today's video, we'll be coloring this cute little penguin. Um, he's from the 2011 Whiff of Joy collection. And we'll be using a series of uh, grays to color him in. Now, for just time purposes, I've sped up um, the video because it was quite long. And I thought it would be really tedious to, to watch it um, at the regular speed. But if you've watched any of my other videos, you know that when I color with my Copics, I go from light to dark, and then from dark to light. So the colors I used for the penguin are in the Cool Gray series, C1, C3, C5, C7, and C9, which is my darkest color. Now, if you don't have all these um, colors, it's fine. Um, you can leave out one or two. It'll be, it'll be fine. So again, I always leave an area that is going to be my highlight, and I color that in last. All right, and then what we're going to do is we're going to add a tint. We're going to add um, some different colors to this to um, make the gray a little less flat, to bring a little bit of life to it. So you see here, I'm showing you my BG Trouble Zero. So I'm going to use that to color in um, the highlighted areas. And then I'm going to take BG treble zero and go into the same areas. And that's going to give a little tint of color to the gray um, and bring it to life. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use my blender pen and I'm going to um, wet the area that I'm going to be coloring next. And that sort of acts the same way as when you watercolor and you add water to your paper prior to adding the ink. It does the same thing. It draws in your color and uh, softens it and blends it really well. So I've used my blender pen, C00, and C1. And I'm just blending them together. And you'll see that it gives a, a nice soft blend. And it leaves the penguin still looking white. OK. And then I'm going to go back in with those same um, two colors I used to add a tint. So after I've blended everything the way I like it, I'm going to take my BG treble zero and my BV treble zero, and I'm going into those shadowed areas again and adding a little tint of color with it. And when I'm done with that, I'm going to take my blender pen and I'm just going to blend it away. Now after I had done that, I thought that um, I had lost a little bit of contrast. So I went in with C3 and C1 and just darkened up those shadow areas just a little bit, um, and then I like that much better. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do his cheeks, and I'm going to add a little bit of blender pen, and then I used R30 and R20, and then I just worked with those three pens and just um, added and blended until I got a nice soft cheek color. Um, and there was no visible lines. So you can see I'm just working it there. And then I went to do his beak. And the colors I used for his beak were YR04, YR07, E07. Then I blended. And then for my highlighted color, I added Y21. And that gave just a really nice little highlight to those colors. And then I went ahead and I used those very same colors to do his little feet. And uh, you really don't need a whole bunch of color there. You have to be um, very, very light touch so you don't bleed um, into the snow. The next thing I did was um, I did um, his little pom pom on his hat and his little the little cuff on his hat, and I did the same thing as I did before. I laid in my blender pen, and then I used a C3 and C1, 
and then laid in a little bit of color with my BG treble zero and uh, my BB treble zero just adding little hints of color there and then using my blender pen to blend it uh, very nicely for the rest of his hat and for his little earmuff I went uh, with a series of BG's so BG 10 BG 11 BG 13 and BG 15 so um, I laid those in and then I blended them out Here you can see I'm just using my blender pen just to soften up some areas and just remove any stray ink. Now I've gone ahead and taken my E07 and I'm just coloring in the string for his hat and the two little stripes on his hat with E07. And then I went in with uh, YR07 and YR04. Now I'm moving down um, to the snow. And I've taken my BG treble zero and I'm laying in the shadow with that. Then I took my blender pen and just went along the edges of that coloring and softened it out. And you can see how my paper is, is saturated with the blender. So any color that I'm adding now is just is going to be blended um, really nicely, really softly. So I'm just using um, shades of gray and uh, BG treble zero right now. Underneath here I use C3 and then C1 and then I blended it out again. Then I went ahead and just um, blended out any areas that I wanted to be a little bit lighter with my blender pen. And I just went ahead and added a little bit more of the BG treble zero. I just felt it needed a little tiny bit more. And then I blended that out again. The next thing I did was I decided I was going to airbrush over it. So I just cut a piece of um, printer paper. I stamped it and cut it out. That's going to serve as my mask. And I just um, laid down a piece of low tack tape all across the bottom to keep it in place. And I've loaded up my um, airbrush, Copic airbrush, and I apologize, I can't remember the marker color I used. I believe it's B treble uh, zero or B double zero. But I added that into um, my airbrush system, and I'm just airbrushing it. And you can see I'm pulling, pulling the paper back and just checking that I have um, enough. And it's as easy as that to do the airbrushing. It's really fast. And then I just took um, a Sharpie poster paint marker uh, that's water-based, and I went in and colored in the, s the snow um, because obviously it was covered up with the airbrush. And that's it. So I hope you've enjoyed my tutorial. Thanks for stopping by.